Not just Will Smith and Martin Lawrence will be making a comeback when Bad Boys, Ride or Die opens in theaters next month. Additionally, Kelly, a weapons expert played by Vanessa Hudgens and who debuted in the franchise in 2020's Bad Boys for Life, returns in this new sequel. Filming was initially scheduled to start in April 2023, but it was put on hold in July due to a strike by the actors' union sag FTRA. Following the strike, filming began, however, upon their return, A.T. was informed by Smith, 55, that Hudgens, 35, was expecting her first child. At one point, Smith acknowledged, filmmakers Adil L. Arbai and Bill Al Fala had to start filming around it. The strike occurred, and upon her return, we had to complete the film. The main challenge was figuring out how to shoot around it, Smith remarked. According to Smith, Hudgens is a dedicated worker who wants to get everything done correctly. No, don't worry, I said. Smith said, you'll be able to tell your kids that they were in this scene with you forever. While hosting the 2024 Oscars red carpet, Hudgens made her pregnancy announcement. She is expecting a kid with her spouse, Colorado Rockies professional baseball player Cole Tucker. Hudgens made her pregnancy public in March by showing off her growing baby bulge on the red carpet of the 2024 Academy Awards. I mean, it's just like such a classic beloved story and it's really neat being able to go on this journey with them and have so much time go by, she said in a recent interview regarding the return of her role that we paid close attention to the fact that people are getting older, that things are changing. And that they may not be working as quickly as they used to, she continued. It's entertaining to be around, and I believe there are a lot of belly laughs and action-packed scenes. It's going to be an amazing film, she exclaimed. The first movie in the franchise was Bad Boys, 1995, which marked Michael Bay's directorial debut as a music video director. Despite only having a $19 million budget, the film was a small box office smash, grossing $141.4 million worldwide. With a $130 million budget, the 2003 follow-up Bad Boys 2 made $273.3 million, while the 2020 film Bad Boys for Life made $426.5 million on a $90 million budget. Smith says that the Bad Boys universe was expanded for this next sequel, which opens in theaters on June 6. We want it to be, a, full-on popcorn movie but we wanted it to grow with the characters. We took an aggressive shot with this movie and tried to keep it exciting, he added. Not try to make the 25-year-old version of the movie, no, these dudes make it be age-appropriate.